Hi and welcome to my first YouTube video. I am a little Claire the vegan chef at the Caribbean Kitchen and I'm going to show you for you how to make the really easy, simple yet delicious cauliflower nuggets. Um, so first of all you'll need 125 grams of chickpea flour, 189 grams of self-raising flour. If you are gluten intolerant, obviously you can just get rid of self-raising flour and um, use chickpea or an alternative. And then we have got three tablespoons of barbecue sauce. Um, vegan friendly, if you are vegan, if not, obviously it doesn't matter. And two tablespoons of jerk seasoning and one teaspoon of all-purpose tropical seasoning. Um, you can also jazz this stuff with like barbecue, a bit of nutmeg, you know, go a bit, a bit wacky. Chili powder. Yeah, curry powder. And then we've got some ginger beer. Obviously, again, a vegan-friendly brand. And then I've got a full head of cauliflower cut into nugget-like shapes, florets. So into the flour, I will pour some of the ginger beer. I won't pour it all in. This is um, one can and a little bit. And then the seasonings go in. And the barbecue sauce. I have experimented with this recipe before and I have used different sauces like a mango and chili sauce and hot pepper sauce. So whatever your preference is, um, you can use. Whisk that up. Again, only using a bit of the ginger beer means I can determine how thick it's going to be and if I need to add any more, which I clearly do. That's getting too thick. Add a bit more and the consistency you want, my preference and what we sell at the Caribbean Kitchen, um, you have it quite thick um, just so it clings onto the cauliflowers properly when they are deep fried. Um, if the batter has quite a thin consistency, it's, I don't think it's just as nice. So that's getting there. And previously I did um, sieve the flowers as well, just to let you know. Can we go through a recap of the ingredients? Yes, so it's 125 grams of chickpea flour, 189 grams of self-raising flour, three tablespoons of barbecue sauce, two tablespoons of jerk seasoning and one teaspoon of all-purpose tropical. That does look good. And one can of ginger beer. <laughs> okay, I'm going to add a little bit more, not just a splash. What would you recommend using it if they haven't got ginger beer? Lemonade, water, if you want, but it, or it just gives it a nice or beer. Red stripe. Or red stripe. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it gives it a nice, um, crisp coating lovely stuff so that's perfect there okay now I'm going to put a few of the florets in florets they call them florets I think it is oh, right. <laughs> I might pronounce them that right fancy <laughs> That these would be soaked traditionally for a few hours or so in the Caribbean kitchen before they're sold. A customer did tell me that they're nicer. She's noticed a difference when they've been soaking the batter for longer because the stem's softer. Um, oh. so yeah, they're less, um, they're nicer basically. Oh. <laughs> uh, now the cauliflower nuggets are covered in batter, I'm going to pop them in the oil. The oil should be about 160, 165 um, to fry properly. Lovely. Obviously, we will be turning them so they're cooked evenly. You make sure it's not dripping too much. Another one, quite chunky. So these would take, what, about three or four, five minutes usually? Yeah. I'm gonna gently turn them so they don't stick to the bottom. No. 
Uh, when they're frying, just gently turn them over so that they're lovely and even. See, they're coming together quite nicely now. They've got a nice golden colour to them. And they'll be ready to serve. So you want to take them out the fryer and pop them on some kitchen roll just to dry off any of the excess fat. We're going to sprinkle some jerk seasoning and mixed herbs. That's a tablespoon of each. There you go. And there you have this mega easy and simple to make cauliflower nuggets served to you at the Caribbean kitchen. Do you want to try one? Yeah, okay. <laughs> Hold on. I'm going to get a four. A bit hot. Mmm. Good. Wicked. Yeah, they're nice. They're hot though. Thanks. <laughs> So thank you for watching my first YouTube video and um, there's plenty more to come in the future. If you want to hit the subscribe button which is somewhere below me I think on the video and um, turn your notifications on for updates from the Caribbean Kitchen. Uh, I have plenty of um, vegan recipes to show you. Um, no oxtail stew, um, yellow bell chicken curry, ackee salt fish, sweet potato curry and there are some more that I can't Patties. think of patties <laughs> and jackfruit nuggets um yeah they're a winner so if you want to see any of those comment below and let me know which one you fancy seeing or if you have any ideas of what you want me to try myself comment in the comment section below as well so thanks for tuning in bye